Hi, welcome to this week's episode of How I Choose to Live My Life. My name is Leslie Donaldson and I'm with ITR Polygraph and thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, if you had a chance to see the little short video that we made earlier, it kind of lets you know that we were out having a bit of an adventure today. So um, we sure did. Uh, today is May 21st, 2020. Um, and this is how I'm choosing to tell my story. Instead of writing a book, I upload a video series every Thursday and, um, and it's in real time and I, I hope that maybe you have been tuning in. And if you haven't been tuning in and would like to catch up, please do go to the corporate website, um, ITR Polygraph, there is a link there to our YouTube channel or go directly to YouTube, um, type in ITR Polygraph hit videos and they all come up and you could um, follow along if you'd like. And um, so today was super fun. Ken and I spent uh, the whole day traveling around the back roads of Alberta. Now I'll let you know another time what we were doing but I'm, obviously you can tell I'm super excited about it. But also this, I'm, I'm full of a lot of emotions today because I know today is a time too that I have scheduled every Thursday to discuss my life and the events of my life and the background of my life and so forth. And so what that always um, entails is I, I'm having this amazing great day and we're going you know, down and having this amazing adventure today and looking very much towards our future and it's incredibly bright even during this time of COVID. Even during this time of COVID, I'm so thankful. I'm incredibly thankful for the gifts that we have received during this massive time of COVID. So there's a huge part of me that's super excited. And then I know that I need to go back in the past and talk about the past and talk about things that broke my heart and made me sad and things like that. And so why am I doing that? Um, I'm doing that for several reasons. I'm doing that, A, for myself to be able to go back and tell that story, and, but also for anybody who would like to listen, who has been in those places, to see that somebody has gone through that and healed. I'm, Today, I have to go from 2020 back to 2004, September 2004. That is not a nice time for me. I lost my mother that year. That's what I'm talking about. If, if you haven't been following along, please, please go back and maybe if you'd like to. But um, where I'm picking up, from is last week's episode and that would be that my mom was and dad had used the time that God gave my mom from Valentine's Day February 14th 2004 Valentine's Day gave her a miracle shrunk her tumors to almost nothing she walked out of the hospital it was amazing she was given this incredible period of time from February right round to September. So how did she use her time? She used it wisely. She spent it with her family. She spent it with her grandchildren. She spent it with her sister. She spent it with her husband. She spent it traveling. She spent it with many, 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 many friends. She had many friends all around. She was incredibly blessed with many, many friends. Um, her sorority sisters, her friends up, up north in Fawcett. Um, and I don't want to leave anybody out because it's, it's from, it's from um, Vancouver uh, straight on to Ontario. Everybody, all of her friends, many of her friends in Ontario because my father lived there. So between Ontario and Alberta and BC and many places all around the world, um, my mom was, had many friends and so she used that time to 
to live her life and do that. But then there came a time when my mom came back from the cruise and the cancer had spread. God had given her all that time. But now he's letting her know I, the place I went to prepare for you is now ready. Are you ready? Was she ready? Here's the thing, my dad and my, my Annie Susan, her sister, one of her, one of her sisters, her other sister, um, uh, Vicky, uh, was in Ontario. And uh, the way my mom used this time, and I'm talking to you about this, is it's incredibly timely because we're in this time of horrific health crisis around the world. People are facing life and death squarely in the face. My mom is now facing death squarely in the face. There's no more time. There's no more medicine that's going to heal her. There's no more medicine. I had to face it that after all of my prayers, please God heal her, please God heal her. Now, there will come a time I will beg God to take my mom. Stop the pain, stop the agony. Stop a horrific death of cancer. Stop a horrific death of COVID. How, how, how wild it is that we turn, around, turn our prayers from, Father God, please heal my mom, to Father God, please have mercy. But here's the thing. My mom said to me, Leslie, and I'm so thankful that she asked me and that I had gone through so much scripture. I think God was just preparing me from the whole time I lived in Fawcett and going to so many of my family and friends' funerals, well over 30, to now I'm facing losing my mother, my best friend. And I've got to tell you, if I didn't have a faith in Jesus Christ, if I didn't have a foundation with scripture, if I didn't have any of that, if I didn't have my, my uh, church family and just everything like that, a solid foundation like that, I don't know where I would be and because actually I wouldn't be able to answer the questions that my mom gave me. My mom said to me, she said, I can't believe that I thought I'd lived my life never needing God, but now I'm facing the end of my life. She said, Leslie, oh, could you please read to me scripture? Could you please tell me, and I mentioned this before, could you please tell me about, in the scripture, what does it say about heaven? Where am I going? Should I be afraid? What is happening? And I read her scripture and I told her about God and I told her about heaven and she needed to be comfortable. And so you know what? She was. And then she said, I want to make amends with my sister. She had her sister come. She made amends with her sister. She made amends with uh, her, 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 one, of, one of her daughters. She made amends with many people, whether she reached out and let you know that she made amends or she made amends in her heart with the pastor that came to the house. She also got rid of every possession in her room personally so that at the end of her life it wasn't that people could say well um, this and this. She personally gave it all away. She gave it all away and maybe if you gave her a gift she put it in a gift bag and gave it away. So she also, my mom also went out and picked out her own, her own place. And so she stared death squarely in the face. And right now we are being asked to do the same thing. Going back to that time frame and having to go forward, sadly, there's a lot of things that went really awesome all up until now. But here's why people ask me to write a book. Because 
pretty much from the day my mom passed away, my life crumbled and changed as I knew it. Though my mom was safe and secure in heaven, what happens is though, we're still here living life and then how did it go? What happened to my dad? What happened to my sister? What happened to me? What happened to our family? What happened to everybody? was one of the worst things that ever happened in my life. And sadly, I'm gonna be talking about it next week, even though we're trying to go forward and have a happy time and all this stuff. Now we're gonna go back. We're gonna talk about that. And one of the reasons why I wanna talk about that is A, if you haven't thought about life and death and where do you go when you die, think about it, it's real. What are you gonna do with your things? But also, and, and that's not morbid, that's what we're facing right now. That's why we're in our homes. There's a difference between being prepared to die and being afraid to die. Two different things. And I want to be prepared to die. I, w I don't want to be afraid to die. But also what I want to share with you next time is also don't let this happen to you. Don't let what happened to you, or what happened to me, happen to you, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in. Wow, what a day. Thank you very much. Bye now.